Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Just a quick preface, um, be sure you know what you're doing when you do plumbing at home, as in scar on the head. So um, I wanted to talk to you today about something that basically is crucial to our health. Now, a lot of people are waking up at night, and this is not because a waste disposal unit fell on their head while they were doing plumbing, but because they have trouble sleeping. Why is this an issue? You'd think, okay, well, it's no big deal, right? Not being able to sleep enough. Sleeping is crucial. Why? Because when you sleep, your body goes into a state where it's able to repair tissue. During the day, as we're active, moving around, being busy, whatever we're doing, our bodies tend to dispense energy for brain function, for physical function, digestion, 60% of our energy goes to digestion, for example. And so sleep is a crucial time for regeneration and rest. We often call it R&R, &R, right? But the fact of the matter is many people are not getting this R&R. &R. We're told many times that getting a good eight hours of sleep a night is crucial. There's a lot of studies out lately that talk about the fact that even if you get those eight hours, out of, uh, eight hours of sleep in more than one session, that's fine. I personally tend to feel better when I get a full eight hours sleep. I feel more rested. 20% of people in the US and the UK supposedly are getting five hours or less of sleep a night. Well, when you don't sleep enough, you accumulate a sleep debt. And you have to make up for that sleep debt. Just as if you accumulate a debt at the bank, you owe the bank money, you have to pay it back, or any kind of loan, whatever it may be. What are some of the problems with not getting enough sleep? Well, people become irritable. They become anxious. They, become, uh, they don't get to repair different problems in their body, so health issues tend to exacerbate, get worse. Things like depression, anxiety, um, cancer rates go up with lack of sleep by about 35% for chronic sleep-deprived individuals. And there are dangers. I mean, the increased risk of death, in fact, or dying sooner is been, has been demonstrated by multiple studies that that would really lead to um, poorer health and also earlier mortality. Now, obviously, if this is an issue, we need to look at solutions. And I'm going to talk about solutions in just a moment. One of the most common solutions, however, is sleeping pills. Why is this a problem? Why might this lead to increased mortality? Well, actually, they've done some studies that have shown that people who consume sleeping aids on a regular basis become more irritable, have more anxiety problems, have a higher cancer risk, etc etc because it messes with their sleep pattern and actually from my my dear wife um, who actually works as a flight attendant she knows of one lady who came down from her hotel to the front desk completely naked she was taking Ambien didn't even know was completely unconscious two other flight attendants I'm not trying to diss flight attendants here who uh, almost burnt down their apartment basically making popcorn that they overcooked, it caught fire, and they, there are pictures of them um, eating, snarfing popcorn with black carbon-colored faces. One other flight attendant on an overseas trip was on Ambien and went sleepwalking and died, literally fell into a canal overseas. So sleeping pills have many challenges. Do we need some sleep aids? Yes, absolutely. What can we do? Well, there's certain things that are really important. For example, don't take your work to bed. Don't take your computer into bed. Um, don't be watching TV late in bed. Have your bedroom as a sleep haven. What else is important? Light. Why is light important? Because when light is on, it stimulates the pineal gland, which stimulates a cascade of hormones to wake you up. So you're never able to really get to sleep because of the melatonin cycle in the brain. Melatonin responds to light. So if the pineal gland is getting stimulated with light, and that can mean an alarm clock, can mean um, no drapes or curtains, basically black out your windows 
and you will notice it will greatly improve your ability to sleep. Also, take sleep aids such as herbs. Uh, Enter Health Botanicals, we have a great herbal remedy called Sleep Right. I highly recommend it. Some of the best herbs out there for sleep are valerian, passion flower, skull cap, chamomile, for example. And also, don't eat too late. So here's a bunch of suggestions and great information on how to improve your sleep. You can do it. Get a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching. Darren Craddock with a daily dose from Enter Health Botanicals.